I was trying to get back into my house, and my neighbor, Mr. Griffin, shot me. He said he felt threatened by me, and that hurt even worse than getting shot. Aww. Your Honor, permission to hug the witness? Granted. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Griffin. You're every bit as sympathetic as this chubby-cheeked Coco Angel. I haven't been listening. What's going on? I don't think it's lost on any of us that the laws are written on white paper. Yeah, white paper. Check your jacket pocket. I don't think it's lost on any of us that the laws are written on white paper. Hey, look, I'm just saying, it's no surprise that justice isn't colorblind. Check your other jacket pocket. Hey, look, I'm just saying, it's no surprise that justice isn't colorblind. Stewie, you're a jerk. Check Chris's pocket. What, there's nothing in here, and... Oh, God, the bottom of the pocket's been cut out. Thanks, Brian. I was the mastermind behind this whole thing. Your witness. All right, watch this. This is where we take control of the situation. Mr. Brown, you testify that you were listening to music at the time of the shooting. That's right. And isn't Jay-Z music? Yes. And doesn't he have the lyrics, I put the gun to you, I'll kill you, I'll chop you up, put you inside the mattress like drug money? <gasps> Well, I was listening to Neil Sedaka's Hanukkah album. And isn't it true that your last name is the same as Chris Brown's? Yes, but I don't see And what, what did Chris Brown do to Rihanna? He hit her like a hundred times. Your Honor, I'd like to enter into evidence this photo of a badly beaten Rihanna, as well as this print ad for the Entourage movie. Why? I can't unsee this. Who is this for? What's he doing? He's making Cleveland Jr. look like a thug. I know. That's the idea. You don't want to go back to jail, do you? I don't know. Maybe. Mr. Brown, please pick up this knife. Ah! He's got a knife! <laughs> this isn't fair! They're making my son look like a common hoodlum! Joe, you're a cop. Do something. No, the soap covers everything. You might see, like, the very top of the crack, but that's, that's not what it's about. How do you sleep at night? Propped up on pillows on account of my fat throat. If I lay flat on my back, I die. I need pillows between my thighs myself, and this friendship is over. <laughs> Thanks for letting me sit in the back. I was flipping people off the whole way. <laughs> Get out of here, all of you. My son didn't do anything wrong. Carter, I think this has all kind of gone too far. What do you think you're doing? I'm going to make this right. Everyone, everyone, listen. I have something to say. Cleveland Jr. doesn't deserve any of this. All those things you heard about Cleveland Jr. were lies. He didn't do anything to me. He's a good kid from a good family. I just got scared and I did something stupid. I swear it had nothing to do with the color of his skin, but I did shoot him. I deserve to be held responsible for my actions, even if that means going to jail. You heard him, other cops. Let's take him in. He doesn't know our names, does he? I don't think he does. Wait a minute. Peter didn't shoot my son. I did. <gasps> Peter was just taking the blame for me. He's a good friend. Uh, Mr. Brown, what exactly are you saying? I'm saying that I, Cleveland Brown, a black man, shot Cleveland Brown Jr., another black man. <laughs> Wait, where, where did everybody go? You want to make the media go away? Just mention black-on-black -black crime. Boy, the world we live in, huh? Brian, reach into Meg's pocket. Go ahead, Brian. I... I, I don't wanna. Giggity giggity. Giggity goo. Stick around. <laughs>